Welcome to Linux and Tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to install and configure Power DNS with MariaDB and Power Admin in RAL and CentOS 7. Power DNS is a DNS server running on many Linux Unix derivatives. It can be configured with different backends, including bind style zone files, relational database, or load balancing. It can also be set up as a DNS precursor running as a separate process on the server. For installing Power DNS with MariaDB backend, first you need to enable the EPL repository. For that command is yum install EPL -A release. Now the EPL repository has been get enabled in my system. Now I am going to install the MariaDB and MariaDB server in my system. For that, yum install MariaDB, MariaDB hyphen server. The MariaDB and the MariaDB server package has been get installed in my system. Now I am going to enable and start the MariaDB service. For that, command is systemctl enable MariaDB.service. Now the service has been get enabled. Now I am going to start the service. For that command is systemctl start mariadb.service. Now the mariadb.service has been get started. Now I am going to run the mysql service. For that mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Here you have to press enter and press y to set the root password. Type the password here and repeat it again press y press n and press y now the mariadb has been get configured once the mariadb has been configured successfully now you can proceed with the further installation of power dns for that command is m install pdns pdns hyphen backend hyphen mysql The PDNS and the PDNS backend MySQL package has been get installed in my system. Now I am going to create database inside the MyADB. For that MySQL hyphen U root space hyphen P. Now I am going to create the database in the name of Power DNS. For that follow the command create database Power DNS. Now the database has been get created. Now create the user in the name of Power DNS for local host and grant all permission on power dns database for, for that follow the command now the user has been created and the privileges has been set for the database for that user now i'm going to create another user for my host name for that follow the command now the another user has been get created now i'm going to flush privilege for that command is flush privileges now the privileges has been get flushed now i am going to create tables inside the power dns database for that i am going to use the power dns database for that command is use power dns so the database has been get changed as power dns now create the table in the name of domains by following the below command now the table has been get created in the name of domains now i am going to create the unique index for that command is create unique index name underscore index on the name of the table is domains bracket name now it has been get created the unique index name now i am going to create another one table in the name of records for that follow the below command now another one table has been created in the name of records. Now I am going to create index for record name. For that follow the below command. Now the index for record name has been created. Now I am going to create index for name type. For that follow the below command. Now it has created the index for the name type. Now I am going to create the index for domain id. For that follow the below command and it has created the domain id now i am going to create another one table in the name of supermasters for that create table supermasters 
ip var care 25 not null name server var care 255 not null account var care 40 default null now it has created the table in the name of super masters now quit to exit the MariaDB. Now finally proceed with the configuration of PowerDNS. For that open the configuration of PowerDNS. Vim, etc, pdns and pdns config. Inside that file, move to the line launch and remove the hash and add the following lines. Here, MySQL password you have to give the password which you have set in the MariaDB. After that save the file. Now enable and start the PDNS service. For that command is systemctl enable pdns.service. The PDNS service has been get enabled. Now start the service. For that systemctl start pdns.service. Now the service has been get started. For installing power admin to manage power DNS, install the following packages for that command is yum install httpd php php and devl php and gd php and imap php and ldap php and mysql php and odbc php and pr php and xml php and xml rpc php and mb string php and mcrypt php and mhash get text the following packages has been get installed in my system for power admin it requires two peer packages now i'm going to install that peer package for that command is yum install php and peer and db php and peer and mdb2 driver mysql the peer packages has been get installed in my system now I'm going to enable and start the HTTPD service. For that command is systemctl enable HTTPD.service. Now the service has been get enabled. Now I'm going to start the service. For that command is systemctl start HTTPD.service. Now the service has been get started. The system requirements that are needed for power admin installation has been get completed. Now it's time to download the power admin package for that i need to move to document root directory for that cd where ww html here you have to download the power admin by using the wget command by the following link the power admin package has been get downloaded now you extract the package by using tar xvf on the package name and press enter now the package has been get extracted now we can start the installation of power admin by opening the browser for that i need to switch over to my browser here you have to type the ip address slash power admin hyphen 2.1.7 slash install here you can able to see the installation page of the power admin Click on go to step 2 to prefer proceeding in English language. The installation will be expect you have to have a power DNS database. Then click on go to step number 3. Here give the username, the password here. Here you need to give the name of the database. Here you have to give the password for the administrator of power admin. And then click on go to step number 4. Now create the username for power admin and set the password for that user and here type the host name here type the primary dns and the secondary dns and then click on go to step number 5 here you can able to see the it has created a new database with the limited rights on the database table so now open the terminal and then create the database for that i need to switch over to my terminal in that open the mysql for that mysql and u root hyphen p here create one user in the name of power main and then grant all permission for that grant select insert update delete on 
the name of the database to to the name of the user power main at localhost identified by password sorry i have typed wrongly the update name and then press enter now it has created the user along with the privileges now quit the database now move to the web browser now click on go to step number 6 now move to the document root and rename the configuration file as config.inc.php and make the changes according to the configuration file for that i need to switch over to the terminal cd slash for admin inc here you can able to see the config.me.inc.php and then rename that file as config.inc.php that mv config change to uh, change it as config.inc.php and press enter now it has been get changed now open the configuration file inside that file add the host name db host and the db user power main and the db password and the database name and the db type here you can able to see the session key you have to copy the session key from the browser and you have to paste it here for that I need to switch over to my browser you have to copy this session key and paste in the file for that I need to move to the terminal you have to paste it here now you have to enter the DNS host master the DNS host master give the host name here you have to give the primary and the secondary DNS ns1.localhost.com and here ns2.localhost.com after that save the file now move to the web browser to continue the installation process now click on go to step number 7 in this step you can able to see the username of the power admin and the password of the power admin now you can enable the url used by other dynamic dns provided by running for that you need to move to the terminal cp install ht access dot ht access and press enter now it has been get changed now remove the installation folder from the power dns root directory for that command is rm hyphen rf space where ww html power admin slash install and press enter now it has been get removed for accessing power admin move to the web browser here you have to type the ip address slash power admin and press enter here you can able to see the login page of the power admin login by using the username and password Here you can able to see the main page of the power admin. Now I am going to add the master node. For that click add master zone. Give the name of the master zone. And then click on add zone. Now the zone has been get added successfully. For listing the zone click on list zones. Here you can able to see the zone that I have created. For editing an existing DNS zone, for that click on the symbol, then you can add here. Type is A and here you have to give the IP address and the priority and the TTL and then click on add record. Now the record has been get added successfully. If you want to delete the DNS zone, for that click on delete button. 
it will be asking whether you want to delete you just click on yes now the zone has been get deleted successfully thank you for watching